Israel's defense is entering a new age. Where missiles meet lasers, the iron beam promises to shoot threats at the speed of light, cheaper and faster than ever. But can it really replace the Iron Dome, or is it just another defense dream? Let's uncover the truth behind Israel's laser shield. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we explore one of the most revolutionary shifts in modern defense, Israel's Iron Beam, a system that, that replaces missiles with pure energy. For years, Israel's Iron Dome has been the core of its national defense, intercepting thousands of rockets and saving countless lives. But with every successful interception, one question grew louder. How long can Israel keep spending thousands of dollars for every cheap rocket it destroys? The Iron Beam might be the answer to that question. This new system doesn't fire missiles, it fires light. A laser beam moving at the speed of light silently strikes incoming rockets, mortars, and drones, burning them out of the sky within seconds. It promises a future where defense is faster, cheaper, and almost endless as long as there's electricity. In this video, we'll break down how the Iron Beam works, how it compares to the Iron Dome, and what it means for future warfare. From cost to capability and science to strategy, we'll uncover everything you need to know about Israel's new laser shield. Get ready, because what you're about to see could redefine how nations protect their skies in the next decade. Before understanding the Iron Beam, we must first look at the Iron Dome, the system that redefined modern air defense. Deployed in 2011, the Iron Dome quickly became the symbol of Israel's technological edge. It detects, tracks, and destroys incoming rockets, artillery shells, and mortars before they reach populated areas. With a claimed success rate of over 90%, it has saved thousands of lives during regional conflicts. Each interception is carried out using a Timir interceptor missile guided by advanced radar and control systems. But there's a downside, the cost. Each missile can cost between $40,000 and $100,000, while the rockets it stops might only cost a few hundred. That's a massive financial imbalance. During intense attacks, this becomes a long-term sustainability challenge. This cost gap is exactly why Israel's defense industry, led by Rafal Advanced Defense Systems, began exploring new technologies. They wanted something faster, more affordable, and capable of firing endlessly without reloading. That's when the idea of a laser defense system was revived, a concept that had existed for decades but wasn't yet practical. The Iron Beam was born out of that goal, a system that could neutralize threats instantly, silently, and cheaply using light instead of explosives. The Iron Beam is a directed energy air defense system, meaning it uses concentrated light to destroy threats instead of firing missiles. Developed by Rafael, it's designed to intercept short-range rockets, drones, and mortars. Its power output reportedly reaches between 100 to 150 kilowatts, enough to burn through a target's casing in seconds. When the laser locks onto a, a threat, it transfers intense heat to the object, causing it to detonate or disintegrate midair. Unlike missile systems, which require reloading and supply chains, the iron beam only needs electric power. Once charged, it can fire repeatedly, making it almost unlimited in defense capacity. It also leaves no debris, explosions, or visible traces, making it extremely clean and quiet. The operational range, however, is relatively short, around seven to 10 kilometers, which means it's ideal for close range defense zones. The Iron Beam works alongside the Iron Dome. David's sling and aero systems forming Israel's multi-layered air shield. Each layer handles different ranges and threats. In this configuration, the Iron Beam focuses on intercepting small nearby threats like rockets launched from just across a border or low-flying drones. It's not meant to replace the Iron Dome, but to complement it, reducing pressure and costs during sustained attacks. At its core, the Iron Beam represents a triumph of directed energy physics. 
The system focuses an extremely precise, high power laser on an airborne target. Within milliseconds, the beam transfers enough heat to melt, weaken, or explode the target structure. This process requires not only raw power, but also precise targeting because even a slight beam misalignment could cause a miss. To achieve this, Rafal combines advanced optics, radar integration, and artificial intelligence. The radar system identifies and tracks incoming threats, feeding that data into the iron beam's control unit. Then, adaptive optics stabilize the laser's aim, countering environmental effects like wind, vibration, or movement. A powerful computer system continuously calculates adjustments so that the beam remains perfectly locked. However, maintaining laser integrity in the real world is extremely challenging. Whether dust, fog, and humidity can weaken or scatter the beam. That's why Raphael designed the iron beam for clear sky conditions, especially suited for Israel's generally dry climate. Engineers have also developed compensation techniques, allowing the system to adjust power levels and focusing patterns automatically. This isn't just about firing a laser, it's about combining optics, sensors, and AI to create a precise, instantaneous, and virtually silent interceptor that defends at the speed of light. The iron beam's most striking advantage lies in its cost effectiveness. Every Iron Dome missile launched costs tens of thousands of dollars. In contrast, a single iron beam shot could cost as little as two to five dollars. Depending on electricity prices, the difference is enormous, one that could change how nations think about sustainable defense. This means that during massive rocket attacks, Israel could theoretically fire unlimited laser shots without worrying about ammunition or reloading. As long as the system has power, it can keep intercepting. This not only saves money, but also ensures continuous protection during long conflicts when resupply may not be possible. Speed is another game changer. Lasers move at 300,000 kilometers per second, literally the speed of light. That allows instant response against multiple incoming targets, especially drones or short-range rockets. Combined with machine learning algorithms, the iron beam can switch targets automatically in fractions of a second. It's not just about affordability, it's about strategic endurance. For the first time, a country can defend itself indefinitely without running out of missiles. This could completely transform defensive warfare economics worldwide. With the Iron Beam, Israel is moving from a reactive missile-based defense toward a proactive, energy-driven strategy that offers speed, silence, and sustainability. Despite its promise, the Iron Beam still faces significant challenges. The most obvious limitation is weather, rain, fog, dust, and even heavy humidity can scatter laser energy, weakening its accuracy and power. In such conditions, the beam might struggle to maintain the focused heat needed to destroy a target. This makes it less reliable during poor weather operations. Another issue is range. The iron beam's effective range, roughly seven to 10 kilometers, is short compared to the Iron Dome's 70 kilometer reach. This restricts it to close defense areas such as city borders or military bases. It can't yet replace missile based systems for long distance threats. Then there's the power requirement. Firing high energy lasers consumes enormous electrical energy, meaning the system needs advanced generators or battery storage to function continuously. This adds logistical challenges during mobile operations or in prolonged attacks. Additionally, lasers are most effective against soft targets like drones and rockets, but may struggle against hardened or hypersonic objects. Nonetheless, as technology evolves, power outputs will rise and range limitations may shrink. Despite these issues, the iron beam still marks a revolutionary milestone proving that real, combat-ready laser defense is now possible. Its weaknesses don't overshadow its significance. They define the roadmap for its future improvement. The Iron Beam isn't a distant concept. It's already been tested successfully. 
In 2022, Israel's Ministry of Defense revealed footage showing the system intercepting rockets, drones, and mortars in live trials. The tests demonstrated precise laser tracking, rapid engagement, and clean destruction of targets without explosions or debris. Officials described it as a historic leap in defense technology. Rafael continues refining the system through additional trials, integrating it with Israel's broader radar and command networks. The goal is to ensure the Iron Beam can operate seamlessly with existing systems like the Iron Dome, David's Sling, and Arrow 3. Once deployed, they will form the world's first complete layered missile laser defense architecture. Reports indicate that the Iron Beam could reach initial operational capability between 2025 and 2026, with deployment first focused on protecting high risk areas and border towns. Several countries, including the United States, have expressed interest in collaboration and co-development. If these timelines hold, Israel will become the first nation to deploy a combat ready laser interceptor system, something once considered pure science fiction. Beyond national defense, it will also shape future export markets as other nations facing drone or rocket threats look toward directed energy systems as the next global defense frontier. The Iron Beam doesn't just enhance Israel's defense, it changes strategic warfare logic. For decades, Israel's strength has depended on maintaining a technological edge by adding a laser-based layer to its shield. Israel ensures that no adversary can win through quantity alone. Attacks designed to overwhelm missile stocks, such as heavy rocket barrages, will now meet an infinite defense supply. Strategically, this creates deterrence through sustainability. It signals that any prolonged offensive will only exhaust the attacker's resources, not Israel's. Economically, it saves billions by reducing dependency on expensive interceptors. On a global scale, this breakthrough encourages other nations to pursue similar directed energy solutions. The US, Germany, India, and South Korea are already studying Israel's progress closely. The Iron Beam also influences future alliance cooperation. Nations interested in countering low-cost drone warfare now see lasers as a realistic solution. The psychological and strategic implications are immense. Wars of attrition may soon become financially impossible. Israel's Iron Beam could become the first model of affordable, renewable air defense, pushing the global military race toward energy-based systems. In short, the Iron Beam isn't just a defense project, it's a strategic revolution shaping how nations think about cost, power, and sustainability in modern warfare. The biggest question people ask is whether the Iron Beam will replace the Iron Dome. The, the honest answer is not yet. Both systems serve different purposes, and their true strength lies in working together. The Iron Dome remains essential for medium-range interceptions, Capable of handling threats up to 70 kilometers away, the Iron Beam, on the other hand, specializes in close-range protection, dealing with nearby rockets, mortars, and drones. By combining both, Israel creates a layered shield. The Iron Beam manages short-range, high-volume attacks cheaply, while the Iron Dome takes out whatever slips through. This balance ensures efficiency, affordability, and consistent coverage across all ranges. In the future, as laser technology improves, the Iron Beam's range and power could increase enough to take on medium or even long-range threats. But that's still years away. For now, it acts as a force multiplier, not a replacement. What's revolutionary is the partnership between light and missile, speed meets precision, cost meets power. It's a hybrid defense strategy designed not just to intercept, but to endure. In that sense, the Iron Beam doesn't replace the Iron Dome. It extends its life, ensuring Israel's defense network remains unbeatable for decades to come. The Iron Beam marks a turning point in human warfare, the dawn of laser defense reality. For the first time, humanity has developed a weapon that fires at the speed of light silently defending cities from invisible threats. It's no longer science fiction. 
it's the foundation of tomorrow's battlefield. This technology opens doors far beyond Israel. The world's militaries are already experimenting with ship-mounted, vehicle-based, and airborne lasers capable of neutralizing threats before they reach critical targets. As systems grow stronger and smaller, we could see cities protected by invisible energy grids, planes guarded by onboard lasers, and even satellites defending from space. The implications are profound. Wars may become less about ammunition and more about energy. Victory will depend on power generation, not stockpiles. Countries that master this balance, like Israel now aims to, will dominate the defensive future. The iron beam symbolizes more than a new weapon. It represents a philosophical shift, defense through energy, not explosives. It may take years before laser systems become standard worldwide, but Israel has already taken the first leap into this era. The battlefield of the future won't echo with explosions. It will shine with beams of light moving faster than sound or sight. If you enjoyed this in, depth breakdown don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel for more deep dives into modern defense technology and global security analysis turn on notifications so you never miss new insights into the world's most advanced military systems stay alert stay informed and see you in the next video